lightning fast. And like you just saw, they pretty much just swim. He hits the ground and he's off and he's moving. They cover some pretty good territory really quick. That's one thing a lot of people do not understand about these animals. Okay. Is they buy them because they're big slugs. They're slow. They're lethargic. And they are most of the time. Unfortunately, when this animal decides to explode, mm -hmm. it explodes. All at once, he just turns into something you don't want to be near. Most of the time, they're pretty placid. They'll lay there. They'll let you check them out, um, like he's doing right now. But they're like a stick of dynamite. All of a sudden, the fuse is lit, and he's going off. So right now, he's kind of relying on his camouflage. He's counting on... You can't see me, you're not touching me, you're not bothering me, so I feel pretty safe. I'm ready to explode, but I feel pretty safe. And the patterns on these animals and colors are just amazing. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Holy smokes. He's, he's now realizing camouflage is not working, so he's going, all right, I'm gonna hop and puff. I'm gonna fill my body with air. You can see how big he's expanding. That's oh, that's his body. air. That's air, huh? And then he's just pushing that air out and expelling that air and making a lot of noise. He's going. I'm not something you want to mess with, so don't mess with me. How long do you think this one is? That one's uh, three and a half feet. Three and a half feet. It's thick like a blood python. Oh yeah, <laughs> they get really, really thick. And right now he's exaggerating it because that's all filled with air. He's just. Exploding. Spelling his body with air. Oh. And then he just uses that rib cage to push down on that lung. Yeah. Push that air out and make those amazing sounds. Now, are these a relatively rare snake or is it just... No, no, very, very common. People keep these as pets? Oh, yeah. Probably a lot more out there than people even realize. This is a big one. From compared... It's a good size one. They'll get upwards of four and a half, five feet. But that's a pretty good size, grippy one. Amazing head on it. That head is huge. That is a big head. They also have gigantic fangs. At that size, you're probably talking one and three quarter inch fangs. They can put venom very deep into your tissue. I'm glad I got a pull. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. <laughs> that's traumatic. He's already all expanded up full of air. I know. We'll just let him crawl it right in there. And you can see he just disappears. The camouflage is amazing. And poof, three and a half foot snake gone. <sighs> just like that. All right. Well, if you guys like this video and you want to see more venomous stuff, be sure to tell us in the comments. A lot more. Okay. Okay, why don't you just get a set of mug of your own pony and pull it out and see what happens here. Oh, you're, it's, 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 it's. All right, fine. What's in the box, Kevin? What's in there? El Loco. This is the Argentine Central American Boa Cross. And this is a surrender, so this is somebody got rid of this animal because it's psychotic. I'm gonna play with it. You're gonna play with it? I'm gonna play with the psychotic snake. And everybody's laughing because they're all dying to watch me get home. <laughs> Why don't you guys just like let him do his thing? Make because him nervous. El Loco! So this is a snake. So it's extra El Loco right now. It's also shedding. So it doesn't know me and it is pissed. Am I in any immediate danger? Well, it, it, you are now technically within striking range, but I am more interesting because I have a heat signature and you have a big fluffy microphone cover. That's right. And I'm not afraid. And Go I ahead. suck more than you do. Protect so let's let's take a look at this. So this snake right here, so you're gonna look at the snake or you're gonna look at me. I like looking at you guys. Okay, look at this. This snake. Alright, so I'm a big giant thing yep. looking down at him. So I'm immediately causing this snake to uh, feel threatened. So I'm looming, especially when I spread my arms like this. Mm -hmm. And then if I look down at him, I'm gonna do everything I can to make him upset. If I'm stupid. So, I'm going to try to do it. Watch. Oh, look at this. He is so on point. Okay. So, we need... Sometimes, I can use my zoo bed creature catcher to properly... No, that doesn't work. Is that for catching bugs? This is Dan... This is Dan's 
version of watch Kevin get owned with a little hook. Mm -hmm. Then he, he felt a little bit nicer. This this is like two inches longer. So and what are you gonna use? Are you gonna use the, this one or that one? I think I'll use the creature catcher. Yeah, I think Okay, so this, this snake is super aware. So one thing I wanna do is I need to make contact. Hi. I noticed you're not using your hand for this. Well, I'm gonna. Hi. Will this be the first video Kevin gets struck at? This would be great. All right, so what it's doing, it's moving. It wants to just like move away. So what I want to do is I want to control the first part of the snake's body. All right. So if I act like I'm going to get bit, I'm really going to get bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of working with the animal's brain. So I only use that implement to just kind of manage just the possible initial uh, snake potentially striking me. Now I'm kind of like on the snake and I'm touching the snake. So I'm basically, uh, I'll use the term comfort, but uh, you know I like to think of something like that. So I'm softly touching this guy. I'm working with him. I'm not using uh, harsh tools or anything like that. And I'm, I'm reading the snake's behavior. So you notice the snake stopped hissing. This guy's going into a shed, so he, he can't see very well. But this guy, uh, everybody's noting how kind of crazy the snake is. And this is definitely a snake I can win over. So what I would do, this would be the first thread of positive support and basically getting this guy a little bit zeroed in that human interaction isn't bad. So right now I'm feeling very positive about this. I know I could give you a very exciting video where the thing like loses its mind and is hissing and huffing and puffing, but uh, I kind of just want to interact with the snake and see if I can kind of win it over. So you have a workshop coming up. You're gonna you're gonna discuss. Things so we actually right? have multiple different workshops going on and basically understanding snake psychology, understanding lizard psychology, and understanding your pet and how to actually have a better relationship with it, being you know an exotic reptile. So I basically have uh, some insight on that and I like to teach people some of my little tricks and this is lifelong or a lifetime of tricks that I've learned and basically how to uh, see the animal for what it is not what you think it is. But uh, look at the snake. So. Are you gonna are you gonna be taking uh, some crazy snakes out like this? I actually I, I think I actually might welcome with uh, your relationship with your pet. I think I'd welcome people bringing in a problem animal, and uh, I'm pretty much up to uh, in, interacting with uh, psycho animals. There we go. So this is all I'm just working. I could do this like like I can't even see. I'm not even relying on what I'm oh, seeing. I'm just God. touching what. That you just you know you, you just won't remember get bit. you just the, nothing happens. The trick is I. Interact with it like it's not gonna bite me. You're Bob Ross, dude. And okay, I'm Bob. You really Ross. are. That's a cool guy to be. Is it? Is it good? You know, I hope people like Bob Ross. Yeah, they like Bob, Bob Ross. Is the painter? Okay, oh, you know. maybe I'll get more than one or two fans. Maybe. Okay. Is Bob Ross good? Okay. There you go. So look at this. The snake. Dan. Dan doesn't like the snake. This. He said the snake levitates and goes crazy. But if you actually see the animal for what it is and you kind of work around that, you can actually do some pretty remarkable things. And isn't that the point of actually having these guys as pets? To be able to interact with them and have a good positive interaction. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it. He didn't get bit. He didn't get bit. Worst video ever. 